Okay, guys, I am back with another unboxing. This time it is the classic Ghost Space adult costume. I've been excited for this all day. And it's made by Fun World, and I bought this at Walmart for $25. So let's go ahead and get it out of the box. I mean, bag. So here's the little that. The mask, which... You got to put it together. And the um, other things it comes with. The sleeves and all that. So yeah, I don't know how to put this on. So it doesn't come with extractions or anything. So I'll have to put it on to figure this out. So anyway, um... Let's look at this. I think. Oh, this is the uh, hooded robe. Wait. I okay. Now I get it. This is the the hoodie. Now I know where this is going. Okay, but where's the belt? Oh, hold on. Okay, so here's the mask. I'm going to take the little tag off. Tag one. Tag two. So, I think this is a scarf. So, be right back. Okay, so, um, here is me, what I look like wearing the costume. But here we go. Okay, guys, here I look like wearing the costume, and yeah, um, I don't know why, but it's like really hard to breathe in. Um, this mask, I tried to put it together, but for some weird reason, like, the belt is missing. Like, here, let me show you, like, see, let me read it off, read it, let me read it off, it includes... Roped rope hoodie with the sleeves, belt, ghost face mask, but does not come with the glo gloves nor the um knife, which we already take a look at the knife last week from last week's unboxing for uh October. Um, yes, but I will wear this on the Halloween video by the 31st because that's where Halloween is at. And yes, yeah, stay tuned for two unboxings tomorrow. One of them I'm going to film tomorrow night. The other I'm going to probably film at in the morning time. I don't know what time, but yeah. So I picked it up from Walmart for $25. Uh, but the knife I got that y'all uh, saw me review last week was actually the um, bloody knife. Which was not actual blood. It's just water. That y'all already knew. So yeah. Um. Anyway. I can't wait to show you guys in this costume. What I look like wearing the costume. But yeah. I'm going to probably like have to hang it up. Because I am not putting it back in the bag. Because I do not want to get it back out and forth. So um. Anyway guys. Uh. I hope you guys like the first October unboxing, and I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys, I am back with another October unboxing. Now, yes, just letting you guys know, I brought a little sandwich bag with me, and yes, John Cena includes... About 12 pieces, and I also brought scissors with me to, well, you know, open the toy up out of this, out of this box. So I'll be right back in 3, 2, 1. Oh, also, y'all didn't see my other video. I got the one that says, 
what I got from Amazon. This is my very first Ultimate Edition action figure, so yeah. But anyway, let's get him out of the box. Because I already cut a few pieces of tape, so here we go. Okay, so let's look at the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen pieces he comes with. And yes, so for example, now if you want to give him the um wave, like hello, or you can't see me, hand one, or if you want to give him the punch, like he's ready to punch his opponents in the face, you could give him that. And here's his little hat. He comes with... Look at that. I, I can tell why I am loving this figure. I mean, yeah, I do unboxings of the basic series for a while now, but I think the Ultimate Edition could be a hit here on my unboxing videos. Now, let's look at the other things. I forgot another accessory, so it's this one, like the towel that he puts on his bat pocket, which is lightly fitted. So yeah, let's look at the figure itself. Okay, so here's the figure. Now, yes, y'all can tell the articulation are really cool. The butterfly wing articulation. This articulation just reminds me of the, the McFarlane Toys figurines. So yeah, pretty cool, right? Okay, so here's the first head. Here's the second. Let's put the third one on in 3, 2, 1. Here's head number 3. Now, yes, his shirt is really difficult to put on, so I would not recommend putting it on if you want to that's your opinion not mine so let's review it in three two one okay guys so this unboxing plus review on the wwe mattel ultimate edition series 22 yes series 22 john cena uh yes this is actually his outfit i mean not outfit i mean outfit from the september 1st 2023 episode of SmackDown, and I got to say, it's pretty cool, but this unboxing plus review is going to get 100 out of 100. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Okay, so this actually happened right before I started this video. So, I was getting in the car, okay? I barely hit my head right before I start filming this video that y'all are watching right now. So yeah, we got the um total anime uh Levi Acre Man plush by Jasswares. Now yes, uh I recently just reviewed Isaku Midoriya back on Saturday of two weeks ago. Which was from the final unboxing for last month. And today is the 3rd of October. So, yeah, I got like two more plushies to unbox. One I bought from Hot Topic and one I bought from Amazon. So, Levi, I am going to use him in a plush skit sooner or later. Don't know when, but uh, let's go ahead and take him out of the bag. And yes, these are the same scissors you saw from uh, the Jaws Cena Ultimate Edition unboxing I filmed last night. Okay.
Okay, so, wow. I can tell why Selena's, uh, character love this character. He's really cool. Um, see you later. So yeah, here he is. So yeah, um, here he is out of the bag. Um, yes, he has the little beads inside. Just like the Isaka Midoriya plushie that we reviewed just two weeks ago. And yeah, so here's the tag. Um, I really don't get why they gate him green. Because, um, I don't know why. There's no green on him, but only on the tag there is. There's a picture of the character from the anime, so... Let's take this little... I'll be right back. In Before we look at the plushie first, I want to look at the tag. Now look at that. Now yes, here is the picture of the character from the anime, Attack on Titan. Um... So yeah, this is Jazzwares. Um, these plushies have been out for two weeks on Amazon, and I'm glad they've been out already. Um, I think they're going to make Series 2 of the Total Anime plushies. I know they already made the action figures, which they made Eren, Anya, Chainsaw Man, a.k.a. Dingy, Yuji from Jujutsu Kaisen, and... Um, it's a good Midoriya from My Hero Academia. Now let's look at the plushie next in 3, 2, 1. Okay, here is Levi without the tags on. Now, to be honest, when I looked at the picture on Amazon, I thought his jacket would be a dark brown, but it's tan for whatever reason. But what's really cool, check this out. The logo is stitched up. So yeah, this unboxing plus review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys, I am back with another unboxing video for you guys. Now, yes, I know I did put a unboxing video out there this morning because I had. I didn't have time to put it out there last night because, um, well, I already unboxed the John Cena Ultimate Edition figurine I unboxed last night. So, yeah, um, I'll show you guys who I got. And I think it is the. Let's see what, what it is. Yep, it's Yuji from Jujutsu Kaisen. Now, yes, we already looked at Levi. The unboxing I filmed last night that I put out there this morning. And we already looked at um, Isaku Midoriya two weeks ago. So, let's take Yuji. It's a Dory out of the bag. Oh, wow, they sewed up his... Hoodie too? Wow, that's that's awesome. Great, actually. Really cool. Great. So yeah, here he is. Um, fun fact. Did y'all know he is voiced by um the actor who did the voice of Marco from Star vs. the Forces of Evil? Which, I didn't even know the guy who played Marco from the show... Also played anime characters, too. The pink hair. The hoodie is great. I think it's a hoodie. I, I don't know. I'm still on episode three of the first season on Netflix. So, yeah, uh, let me get a pair of scissors. So, hold on. Took this off. Got to fix the hair a little bit. Um, so yeah, this is Yuji Itadori, and his little background is blue because the outfit it is blue. 
So pretty cool, right? Um. So yeah, uh, you know how the Levi and um, it's the Kumidoria plushies are. They have little bean bean beads to like stand up because these plushies are not like the Great Eastern plushies. These are the Jazz Rare plushies. I got to review a few times. Uh, but the last one I might get is Anya, but I will use her in a plush video sooner. Um, I hope they make Series 2. I want to see a Chainsaw Man character. Maybe another, uh, Attack on Titan character. Maybe another, um, My Hero. And probably Tokyo, Tokyo Ghoul, because we have not yet have a Tokyo Ghoul character. And plus form by Jazzwares. But yeah, this is the third plushie I'm reviewing by the, um, for, uh, the total anime plush line by Jazzwares. Um, but I don't think Walmart is going to stock them in, like, have them in stock in person. I bought, I bought this one from Amazon. I bought Levi from Amazon. I also bought Isika Midoriya from Amazon. Two, so yeah, let's take the tag off and review it in three, two, one. Here's the tag. This unboxing plus review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. Like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys, so I am back with another review video. And yes, this is going to be the final October unboxing. Because I know you're all going to be wondering why. Well, I already filmed a few unboxings for October. Like, the recent uh, UG plush I filmed last night. The Levi plushie I reviewed the other night. Well, that I filmed the other night and put out there yesterday morning. The John Cena Ultimate Edition Series 22 figurine the other night. Uh, I also unboxed a... Well, reviewed the little... Hap, well, the Apple Pie boxes with characters from Gidgen, Gidgen Impact. And a John Cena Superstar, Stretchy Superstar I reviewed last month for October. And the um, two Yu-Gi-Oh! crossover Hello Kitty Happy Meal toys I got two months ago and then reviewed on the first of last month. So yeah, um, here is Himeno. So, um, yep, she's a character from Chainsaw Man. Um, pretty cool eye patch. Um, love the navy blue for the hair. Um, I bought this from online on Hot Topic, and yeah, so this is my second Chainsaw Man character plushie. The last one I have, that I still have now, is the Power One, which a lot of y'all are going to be wondering about that unboxing on how did I get a Power Plush by Great Eastern. I actually bought that one from Big Bad Toy Store, but Himino, I bought her from Hot Topic. She was $10.99. So yeah, um, she looks great. Really cute in the suit. Kind of reminds me of a little bit of John Wick a little bit. Here's the tag. The tag is a little redesigned on the back. See? Really cool, right? So, anyway, be right back in 3, 2, 1. Sorry, I had to take a little um, pause break because I was getting a soda. So, yeah, let's take the tag off in 3, 2, 1. Here's the tag. Now, this is a different tag. I mean, it's the same tag from the power one, but the back... It's very well detailed. Now, time to review in three, two, one. 
this unboxing plus review is going to get a hundred. Well, mostly review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. Anyway, guys, I'm sorry this review has to be three minutes because it is hot outside. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe.